It is the end of an era in professional basketball and the WNBA as Sue Bird's illustrious career has finally come to an end after the Seattle Storm were eliminated by the Las Vegas Aces in four games in the WNBA playoffs Tuesday night. And really, it is a, a loss for basketball at large, not just the WNBA. Like Sue Bird is one of the great basketball players we'll ever see. Uh, she leaves the WNBA as one of the most decorated players they've ever had in 25 years as a league. Sue Bird was in 20 of the seasons, uh, drafted first overall in 2002. And it's it's hard to state just exactly what she's meant for the league. Like the way she played the game, her court vision, her on-court intensity, her playmaking, her shooting, her scoring, her ability to be an ambassador for the sport off of the court... And ev just everything that, that she's done throughout her career has really helped push the WNBA into a higher higher market, more relevancy. I don't know, you know, what you wanna what you wanna call it. And it, it's perfect that someone like Sue Bird would play their entire career in a basketball city like Seattle. That is a city that really supports and shows out for the storm. Obviously, they don't have NBA team, an NBA team anymore. They had just got their NHL team. The Seahawks are there. But the Seattle fans love basketball, and they have transferred that love to the Storm. And to have a player, a transcendent player like Sue Bird, for 20-plus years, 20 seasons, is just incredible. Uh, the game, you know, she did not have the best game. I believe 8 points, 8 assists in about 36 minutes. And really, this was a story about Brianna Stewart going head-to-head -head with Chelsea Gray of the Aces, who just refused to back down. It was incredible to watch. And the Aces kind of feel like it's going to be, um, it's going to be, you know, their WNBA finals to lose. I mean, we'll, we'll see about that. But this Aces team has been great to give them their, their flowers real quick. Uh, Kelsey Plum has taken her game to another level. So has Asia Wilson, now that she's finally allowed to shoot threes. Uh, new coach Becky Hammond has clearly done something right there, uh, reinvigorating that team, bringing the offense into a more modern uh, basketball setting compared to you know the last couple years under former coach Bill Lambeer, who was a little more... Uh, traditional old school throwback whatever you want to call it but um becky hammond showed up and was like i'm gonna draw up sweet plays we are gonna take all sorts of threes asia wilson put the threes up let's go and the results have, have spoken for themselves the aces are one of the best teams and they have been all year so it was kind of one of those like we'll see something has to give when it turned out that the aces and the storm were going to play each other in round two um, and it does. A lot of people are saying that this is, you know, the real finals. Like, whoever won this was going to move on. So we'll see about that. But this is more about Sue Bird. Um, I could put, I could list all of her uh, accomplishments and achievements throughout her career. But I don't think it does it justice. So I'm going to just put them across the screen. Because it'll literally fill up the screen. It is, like, between the NBA, her overseas career uh, in Russia, her world basketball career and her Olympic career, she's like a Hall of Famer four different ways. And that's a tough thing for the sport to lose because it feels like the WNBA and women's sports as a whole are kind of like now more than ever really reaching a more mainstream widespread audience. And to lose an ambassador like Sue Bird as far as like the Encore product goes is tough. I think, you know, there's young stars that are going to be there. Brianna Stewart on the Storm, Jewel Lloyd on the Storm, Kelsey Plum in the Aces, Asia Wilson, uh, Candace Parker still in Chicago. I know she's not like a young superstar, but she's still one of the best players in the in the sport. Elena Deladonna, all of those, all of those players, um, you know, are going to help reach wider audiences. But Sue Bird is someone that kind of just transcended the sport completely, and as a result, she's going to have all sorts of options going forward. Um, with what she wants to do. I mean, she owns a brand already called Together, which kind of online has like a presence of almost like a women's sports exclusive um, house of highlights, where they're always, you know, promoting highlights or news or developments or anything from, from female athletes. And that's an important thing. And she co-owns that with a few other players. Um, she has done multiple like 
broadcasting things. Uh, like she had like a Manning cast equivalent with Diana Taurasi that was really popular and did really well. So if she wants to go into broadcasting, I could see her doing like a Candace Parker type TNT thing. She could easily slide in and do Tuesdays on TNT for the NBA, or she could continue covering the WNBA. She could just focus on like her philanthropic endeavors and, and the awareness she's been raising as an advocate for LGBTQ communities uh, after she came out in 2017. In her, of course, her, her long-term relationship with uh, Team USA soccer player Megan Rapino, And, you know, after, after like 15 years of a successful WNBA career up until that point, to come out um, so publicly, she became a, a face for, for the LGBTQ plus communities. And that's just another thing that, that she's been able to do and something she's been able to bring to more mainstream audiences and like bring up real conversations and real topics she's never been one to shy from from a cause or advocacy and i think that's something that you know the entire WNBA really has been um really like i don't want to say good but like they've been really adamant about following and standing up for those types of rights and civil rights issues and pay inequality issues and just all sorts of things so i think if she wants to focus her time fully on that She'll be able to have all sorts of success. I would imagine, too, that we probably haven't seen the last of her when it comes to basketball. Just because, you know, as such a fan and as such a, uh, seemingly such a junkie for the sport, I would not be surprised if she ended up coaching uh, a la Becky Hammond, who has had tons of, su tons of success. I think that that's something that's a real possibility. I don't know where or when but like that's something that i um would absolutely bet money on happening at some point i would think she'll probably go into some type of broadcasting some type of media because it feels like that's kind of where where every athlete is going whether they're still playing or retiring so don't be surprised if there's you know a podcast or if she signs a media deal with a company like espn or turner and honestly wherever she goes she's going to be a huge hit a huge hit because she she is that that marketable type of type of personality and i think it's so funny because that absolutely conflicts with you know her on court personality which was she would bust your ass like she had no chill on the court like she was out there just gunning for people until the buzzer sounded like i know there's a lot of you know talk that like diana Taurasi is this like crazy complaining you know ruthless competitor who just cheap shots and does all these things and complains at the refs but like sue bird is right there too her intensity was was unmatched and her her basketball skill combined with that killer instinct and you know i watched her take half court heaves at the last second up to 15 <laughs> like she was she was not gonna let it up until the game was over and I think, honestly, you know, to, to play any other way would have been cheating herself and cheating the game out of her full capabilities. Uh, on court, a four-time WNBA champion, a four-time world basketball gold medalist, a five-time Olympic basketball gold medalist, 13-time um, All-Star, I believe. It really, truly, I was trying to think of, of, of NBA comps and it's really truly like she's like steve nash if steve nash had more of like a a high shot tendency and looked for his own shot more often which i know is something that he's spoken about like regretting that he didn't always want to you know take the shot and force the issue he was so concerned with getting people involved but like really the closest thing i can think of and i know it's probably going to sound a little cliche but is like a chris paul or like a a Pistons Isaiah Thomas like one of those players who like could do it all on the court and just somehow always knew exactly what to do and that's what I'll think of when I think of Sue Bird playing basketball is I'll think of someone who just somehow always knew the play to make she could always throw the perfect pass she always seemed to be able to grab like the clutch rebound even if she had like one or two rebounds for the entire game up to that point and it feels like in, in crunch time, she never missed a shot. I mean, you think about the three she hit to send game three of the uh, Aces Storm playoff series. It looked like the 
it looked like the clincher it looked like the, the storm were going to take the 2-1 lead and of course you know overtime happens and the, the aces pull away but that shot is like the epitome of sue bird where it's like i can't believe with the odds as stacked as they may be like she still hit that shot she still did and that on-court performance combined with that off-court personality really took women's basketball and women's sports at large to another level and that's something that the game's gonna miss but i think the benefit now of her of her transitioning out and retiring from the sport is that she's going to be able to take that and take it wherever she wants and as a result that's only going to help increase the the audience and the interest in the WNBA as well especially as more young talent continues to emerge and develop uh, more parity kind of continues to come into the league and and we see more competitive games and playoff series like this um, and the last thing I'll say, like, I know it's tough to, to lose at home in front of your fans in an elimination game, but I think really it was just such a special moment to see the fans, you know, shower her with the thank you Sue chants and, and just all the adoration. You could, you could tell, you know, how impactful the moment was for her. She was doing like those post game interviews, but like to just have that moment where a superstar, you know, is is genuinely re like they get to have that moment with the crowd and bask in that appreciation and like it it felt 100% genuine. Like I think sometimes you see players retire and there's like a like thank you for everything type chant like people are just happy to be there to watch someone, you know, play their last game to say they were there, but this felt like a genuine, you know, like a mutual love between the city of Seattle and Sue Bird. Because not only did they have tons of success uh, on the court, not only has she become like the face of women's basketball to a generation of players, but she embodied what that city is all about in a basketball sense. Like she could do it all. She had the killer instinct. It was never about looking the best. It was about getting it done. It was about winning. It wasn't about style points, even though she had plenty of style to spare. And it's going to be a huge loss uh, to the WNBA uh, for the next couple years, but I think in the long run, her impact outside of the world of on-court is going to be just as massive because I can't imagine she would go for anything else. Uh, so thank you, Sue Bird, for years of entertainment and for years of incredible performances in the WNBA in world basketball and in the Olympics. Uh, it's safe to say I don't think you left any stone unturned. Um, and just appreciation for everything that you've done for the sport of basketball and everything you're going to continue to do uh, for sports and for women all around the world. So, and that's everything. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have a chance to look up some Sue Bird highlights after this, please do. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out. I will be back.